Let's do a deep dive on the attribution setting. So when you create a campaign within Ads Manager that utilizes the website conversion location, so this could be sales, leads, or engagement, and you have to select website as a conversion location. You then select a performance goal, which in most cases will be maximized number of conversions, select your pixel, and then select the event. I made sure to select just some random event because I don't want this to be isolated to when you're running a sales campaign. You need to think about what you select for your attribution setting whenever you run any type of conversions campaign. And let me explain how it works and how to approach this. So here's the thing, by default, uh, when you're running any type of conversions campaign where the conversions location is a website, the attribution setting is seven day click and one day view. Here's what that means. There are two primary things. First of all, Meta will optimize the delivery of your ads to get you as many conversions as possible that fall within that window. That's number one. Number two, your default reporting will be all the conversions that happened within that window. So by default, it's seven day click, one day view. That means Meta will count conversions that happened within seven, day of, seven days of clicking your ad and one day of viewing your ad without clicking. So that means, which most people often forget, it doesn't have to be a direct line. They clicked on your ad, they went to my website, and they bought or they did whatever. It doesn't have to be immediate, okay? It could be up to seven days. And it, it, they don't even have to click on it. It could be a view. Some advertisers hate that. The thing is, it, it's fine to use that as long as you understand what's going on there and what to look for and when to use it and when to change it, okay? So as you can see, you can edit this. So when should you edit it? Now, if you're running any type of sales campaign, I advise to stick with that default in most cases of seven day click, one day view. Why? It's because it, these are th this is a type of commitment that may not happen in a straight line, immediate purchase. It may take a few days to get approval, to make that decision after clicking the first time to make that determination, okay? Second of all, yes, view through conversions are fine. Whether it's there's remarketing that could have happened where that's what ultimately convinced them even though the ad was there to help too. Maybe they, they viewed your ad so many times without clicking it and then Googled you later. View through is fine as long as you can keep that context, number one, and break it down uh, within your compare attribution settings. And number two, as long as there isn't a way for your numbers to be grossly inflated. When it comes to purchase, it's really not going to happen unless you're doing a crazy amount of remarketing. And even then, it means you're getting a whole lot of sales, I guess. Right? So the one thing I would say, and so there, this was added um, not too long ago, is the engaged view for videos. So for skippable video ads, if someone watches at least 10 seconds of your video, doesn't click your ad, and then converts, that is something to, to turn on as well, as long as you have a video ad, and as long as it's a purchase ad, okay? So if it's a purchase, any type of purchase, seven day click, one day view is what you should use. And if it's a video with a, a purchase, add the one day engaged view. Okay, so. What are some other scenarios? Well, if it's any type of lead where it doesn't take a whole lot of thought, right? So there, there's certain leads that might take a lot of thought because it's a matter of, you know, you've been thinking about this purchase or something like that. And you, you know, which the purchase doesn't happen until you talk to a salesperson and things like that. So that's fine. Your typical lead though, where it's like you're getting something free in exchange for providing your email address, contact information, that should just be a direct line one day click. There's really no reason uh, to use the one day view and uh, or seven day click in that case. Um, the other 
situation would be if you're running any type of, let's say, a custom event where you have to, that's what I've got here. The three minutes plus 50% scroll plus internal click, that is a custom event that fires when someone performs all those actions. That is something that someone could perform over and over again if they're a return visitor. So what you don't want is to include one day view there because you have to take this literally. What's going to happen? This isn't some like back, backwards thing that Meta's doing here. They want to get you as many of that thing as you said that you want. So if you keep it at seven day click, one day view, what's going to happen is they're going to show your ads over and over and over to people who already go to your website anyway. Meta doesn't know what kind of conversion that really is, especially as a custom event. They just know you're getting a whole bunch of, uh, of uh, one day view conversions and you're going to be happy about that. So while you can separate that in your reporting, you don't want Meta to optimize to show it to those people most likely to do it over and over and over where you would have gotten that anyway, okay? So when it's a custom event where it's some sort of engagement on your website, strongly advise you stick with the one day click only there as well. Now, it doesn't matter what you use, you should always use your compare attribution settings feature within your ads manager to break that down. Because sometimes, you know, you're doing a seven day click, one day view on purchase, you may see that the vast majority of your purchases come in, come within one day click. And maybe at that point you're like, hey, maybe we'll try that out and we'll, we'll go with that too. We'll just, we'll use it as our attribution setting and optimize for that too. Um, but I think it's a really good rule of thumb. Honestly, if it's a purchase, seven day click, one day view. If it's not, just one day click. All right. Hope that helps. You know, as always, if you need anything else from me, follow my videos. Go to johnloomer.com. I publish a blog post twice a week there. A lot of foundational information, a lot of deep tutorials and guides. I've been doing it for over 12 years. Um, and if you need help beyond that, subscribe to my newsletter. Um, so you can join my Power Hitters Club community. Go to johnloomer.com slash PHC. You can even book a one-on-one -on -one call with me if you go to johnloomer.com slash coach. All right. Hope that helps. Stick around. And thanks again.